Hello, it's Maeve, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how I made this miniature pumpkin carving scene. All the materials with links will be in the description. The two bigger pumpkins in this scene are balls of tin foil wrapped in sheets of orange polymer clay. This is a great way to save clay, especially if you have to make a lot of pumpkins. I remove all the excess clay and roll the ball in my hands until the clay is completely smooth. Next, I press the ball down on my worktop and add a yellow polymer clay to the flat side on which I'll be sculpting the face. I roughly marked where the eyes, nose and mouth will be and started to add more detail. I didn't look or think of any particular face when sculpting this. I knew it had to be somewhat scary and just started to shape the clay the way I wanted. I made one of the eyes open and the other one closed with a scar on it as if he's lost an eye. The nose was inspired by both a skull and a pig, which isn't particularly scary until you watch the piggy piggy pig pig scene in American Horror Story. Yeah, I don't watch that anymore. Once the face was done, I tried blending some of the yellow onto the orange clay. I pressed it on a ceramic coaster so that it could have a flat base and used a toothpick to sculpt the lines. Once cool, I made two holes on the sides to add wire to make the arms and secured them with brown clay and female liquid. Once I'd done both arms, I spread female liquid on top of his head and added the stalk. I cut the excess clay away and added bits of yellow clay around the edges of his face. After baking him again, I added glue to his arms to add volume and let that dry. I grabbed some jute string, separated the strands and glued them to the arms and stalk. To make the butternut squashes I used pale yellow clay, shaped them in my hands and used a ball tool to create some soft lines.
Poke a hole on the top and add a small ball of brown clay to make a short stalk. To bake these, I make a cushion from tissue for them to sit on. To make another pumpkin, I did the same that I did with the first one, only because this one is in the early stages of the sculpting process, I am roughing up the surface with a metal tool. I used a toothpick to mark the general eye, nose and mouth area. Next I created the lines, adding more pressure where I wanted the lines to be more defined. I used this same technique to make the rest of the pumpkins in the scene, only using different colours. I cut a circular section on top of the head and added a stalk to that pumpkin and all the other pumpkins I had. After baking I used acrylic paints to shade them or to make them look dirty. I added a wash of brown paint on his face to bring out the features and details. On the green pumpkin I used pale green paint and applied it perpendicularly to the lines. On a wooden board I spread Fimo liquid to attach a ball of yellow clay to make the pumpkin flesh. I used a ball tool to shape the clay and texture it. I covered the whole thing in Fimo liquid mixed with orange soft pastels and to make the pumpkin seeds I shaped tiny pieces of clay and baked them for 10 minutes. After baking that for 10 or 15 minutes I glued all the pieces to the board. To simulate earth around the pumpkins I use tea. I also made some vines from green clay, baked them and glued them to the board. To make some quick autumn leaves I cut out hearts of pale clay and shaped them. Mm -hmm. 
After baking them, I painted them with acrylic paints. Then I glued them to the board. Thin glaze and that's it. I really hope you liked this tutorial. Like and subscribe if you did. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time pumpkins. Bye! Ciao ciao!